This is excellent. I want you to continue like this, this position. Keep this position. Do not continue with just one kick. Do the combination. One, two with the head kick. We need to control the ring. Do damage. You can start boxing from uh, the inside. Same way, let's go. UFC 240 Holloway versus Edgar is brought to you by the official frozen meal of UFC. Never just eat, devour. All right, round two here. You got to hear that Mark andre Barrio corner. They want more combinations, potentially to punctuate it with a head kick. Let's see how it goes here in our second round. Jocko was pretty efficient on the feet in round one, landed 60% of his significant strike attempts. Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. Jocko trying to catch Mark andre Barrio on the way in. Landed that right hand partially behind the ear. Ooh, Barrio goes to the uppercut. Appeared to just miss. Jocko's been throwing that left kick when he gets on the outside, but he's doing it naked. He's not hiding it behind punches. And it's one of the reasons why it's not effective, but it, it's his best weapon. It's a really powerful shot. And he's not having good success with the hands. Really, what, where he's been having the most success is just getting the clinch. There's a good left hand there, but it was partially blocked. Barrio trying to move his head side to side. I just don't think Jocko's done anything to really sting Barrio yet, to really get his respect. Right. More often than not with Jocko tonight, it has been one and done. Back to the clinch we go. Barrio raises the knee. and knees from Jocko. There's a knee. And a level change that was sniffed out rather easily by Marc-Andre Barrio. Jocko staying heavy here. Herb Dean allowing the fighters to work out of this. Look at how Barrio's covering Jocko's mouth. Very interesting, and now he's reaching over to grab his face. Good body shots yeah. there by Barrio, even from the clinch. A lot more steam on those than those knees. Jock goes throw into that right leg of Barrio. Here's a good uppercut by Jocko. Barrio resets under two minutes now to go round two. Oh, good right hand by Barrio. One of his better strikes of the fight. We try to hit him with a pimp slap. Seems a little frustrated there. See how he dropped his hands. Right. Small cut on the bridge of the nose of Mark andre Barrio. Big uppercut from Jocko. Yeah, Jocko's had some good success with that right uppercut, the lead right uppercut. An unpredictable punch. Grueling clinch work as we show you the clinch strikes. Jocko with a three to two advantage through nine plus minutes.
Barrio has his back against the fence once again. Herb Dean with a subtle warning to work there. We get some separation now late in the round. Good inside leg kick by Barrio. Boy, good luck scoring this fight. Right. Right hand from Barrio and a good elbow there. One more right there by Barrio. There's a good knee to the body by Jocko. He's closing up, so you can fake, punch, and move away. Right? I like what you're doing, just tingle to the body. If you're pushing against the cage, get that pressure. I think you gotta avoid the stand against the cage now because we're up two rounds. So he's gonna come crazy right now. So be ready, lots of things. Let's go. Let's go. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. So it all comes down to this Mark Andre Barrio trying to come through in front of the Canadian crowd tonight against Poland's Chris Jocko. Tiago Alves, Peter Sabata looking for Jocko to mix it up. Goes for an early takedown. And Barrios takedown defense holds up. Jocko right back to the clinch. <laughs> Jocko continuing to touch Barrio with those knees to the inside of that right leg. Herb Dean maybe losing a little bit of patience here later in the fight. But these veteran referees, Joe, right. have a way of t tuning out the Boo Birds and letting the fighters work. Oh, Herb does. Yeah, Herb, Herb, Herb but, he, but he even is getting a little annoyed. Almost a takedown here by Jocko. Good defense there by Barrio. Good balance. He just got to get out of this position. This never favors him. And Jocko's able to slow everything down and control the pace. And what he wants is a wild brawl. Right. He wants this. But he lets Jocko clinch with him. Oh, there's a good shot by Barrio. Jocko's just, even though it's not the most exciting style, he's doing a great job of nullifying the strength of Barrio, which, which is his boxing. Right. Ooh, oh, big uppercut there. Covers up, Jocko unable to land. Jocko's got a movement heavy style. Starting to look a little bit fatigued. He needs a big barrio elbow. And now the uppercut for good measure. Under three now to go. Barrio really trying to make something happen here. And Jocko's got to do something to get his respect. He's, he's definitely doing great work in the clinch as far as neutralizing him, but not much offensively. Neither fighter much of a submission threat. Barrio has never won a fight by submission. to the center. The question is for how long? A little cut that Jocko is now dealing with. Jocko back to the well with that lead elbow yet again. Let's see if Barrio can let those hands go late in this one. Trying to 
to work his way inside. Jocko making that initiative difficult. It's a pretty significant cut that Jocko's dealing with, but we are late in this one. Seemingly could be anybody's fight with just over a minute to go. Jocko, though, with the significant strike advantage, 49 to 29 unofficial. Good leg kick there by Barrio. Only a minute to go. He's got to break free of the clinch. There's a good elbow and another. Those are solid shots, perhaps some of the best in the fight. Good up elbow by Jocko. He's got to go. Wow, Jocko looks exhausted. Jocko still the busier fighter here late in this one. Pretty good entry there. He takes Barrio down. And that is the first takedown they will credit Jocko with on seven attempts. That's an excellent elbow by Barrio, one of the best shots of the fight. And there's a good knee to the body by Jocko. And another good elbow. Probably the best one he landed. Barrio pretty effective with his work in the clinch. Wasn't able to get a ton done at distance tonight. Perhaps frustration creeping in at times, forced to chase down the elusive Chris Jocko. Jocko clearly believes he has done enough to win tonight. He was the busier guy. Threw 180 total strikes compared to 106 for the local, so to speak, Mark andre Barrio. He lives on the other side of this great nation, but exciting opportunity for him here tonight as he tries to secure his first UFC win. And I think largely the fight that Barrio expected, even though maybe didn't get as much done on the feet as he would have liked, but he knew he was going to have to work in a lot of clinch situations and chase Jocko down, and, and that is what he did tonight. Tiago Alves, UFC welterweight veteran, showing his respect to the Barrio corner. Jocko came in with a win back in April. That ended a three-fight skid for him. He's a guy who has flirted with the rankings in the past. Was number 10 in the world when he fought Uriah Hall a couple years ago. Jocko, though, has had to deal with some adversity in his career. Broken hands, staph infections in both knees at one point in time. He was on antibiotics when he fought David Branch a few years ago. And he had to work hard tonight in 15 grueling minutes with Mark andre Barrio. And we might be looking at a split decision. They are taking their sweet time with those scorecards. Yeah, it was a confusing fight to score because it was fairly uneventful. Right. No one got hurt in terms, I mean, they got hit, but no one really got rocked. There was no big moments. I mean, maybe the biggest moment of the fight was the takedown in the last round. Right. All right, the official decision is now in. It's brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile and never miss a knockout with their reliable network and unlimited data. With those scorecards, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Dave Hagan scores it 29-28, Jocko. Kevin Dorna scores it 29-28, Barryu. And Derek Cleary scores the contest 29-28, for the winner by split decision, Christoph Schott. So by the narrowest of margins, Chris Jocko gets the win tonight. And he is now a pretty shy.